A glamorous look can be achieved using many things, but dedication, talent, and the will to look glamorous cannot be taught. Today, we're looking for just that. I, Supreet Bedi, along with an esteemed set of co-panelists, will be conducting the Sephora Miss Glamorous Look sub-contest to find the most glamorous of the 31 state winners of VLCC Femina Miss India 2020. We shall be judging the state winners on the basis of the looks that they have been asked to recreate from the two looks showcased by Sephora. I would now like to introduce you all to Rhythm Suri, National Training Manager, Sephora India, who will be guiding us through these looks. Hello Rhythm, how excited are you to be here today and meet our gorgeous beauties? Hi Supreet, well anything to do with makeup is so exciting and to be on a platform like this with gorgeous looking ladies like these only makes it even better. And quickly tell us about the looks, I mean what are these girls going to do today? So it's a very interesting combination of two different looks while in one of the looks there's a lot of use of highlighters and luminous looking skin, a lot of luminous dewy looking skin. The skin uh, and the eyes in fact kind of uh, complement one another because they both have to be using uh, very, I mean we use very luminous looking textures in both. And uh, the other one has got more of natural matte textures. It's a classic brown smoky eye. You can never go wrong with it. But it is the use of these different textures and of course colors that make the two looks very different. Without further ado, let me share the criteria for Sephora Miss Glamorous Look Subcontest. It's quite simple. The state winners will be judged on the basis of best transformation and closest imitation to achieve the given look in 45 minutes. Contestants number 1 to 15 have been given look 1 and contestants number 16 to 31 have been asked to achieve look 2. There will be two rounds in this sub-contest. In the first round, our 31 state winners will share pictures of the look they have replicated. They will then get an opportunity to interact with and showcase their look to the panel. Based on this, the panel will select their top five candidates who will move on to the next round. In the second round, our top five contenders will interact with the panel and showcase their transformation. The judges will then rank the state winners in order of their preference. So, shall we begin ladies? Time now to say hello to our panelists. To judge our state winners on the Glam Quotient, we today have with us Vivek Bali, CEO Sephora India, hair and makeup expert Clint Fernandez, and Natasha Grober, brand and operations head, Miss India Organization, and of course, myself. Vivek, what are your expectations from today's sub contest? Wow, I've been looking forward to this day and I think I'm, you know, wanting to look at all the 31 glamorous girls who are now participating in this. The Sephora Miss Glamorous Look and I think that's the one which we need to select today. Each one of them is a winner and I think they've been given two looks. Both looks are very exciting and one of our top-notch looks that we, signature looks of Sephora and I do look forward to seeing some fantastic work from them. Thank you, Vivek. We're all looking forward to this one. So much excitement today. Clint, what do you think will be the challenges that the girls will face today in this sub-contest? Well, I think it's a challenge more for us judges because uh, we've seen the pictures of the girls and it's going to be a very tough call because a lot of them have done very good makeup. Thank you so much. Looking forward to judging this one with you then. Natasha, <laughs> what are you most looking forward to uh, in the Sephora Miss Glamorous Look sub-contest? I'm looking forward to seeing them a little more transformed. Um, let's see uh, how they've really uh, built up along the way after the selections were made. So looking forward to this sub-contest. Good luck to all the girls. And what am I looking for? Might as well mention that. Impressive representation. It would be great to see how the girls are going to put forth their technique in the given time frame. So uh, judges, let's get judging. Oh, ladies, 
what a tough job you gave us today. All the judges have been contemplating. It's been a tough one today to choose our top five, but it had to be done. But I have to say you were all absolutely amazing with your technique. So here we are with the top five in no particular order. This is a random announcement. So here we go. The top five are Ananya Priyadarshini, VLCC Femina, Miss India Bihar 2020. Raina Garg, VLCC Femina, Miss India, Tamil Nadu 2020. Monica Shiokand, VLCC Femina, Miss India, Haryana 2020. Lal Monsangi Varte, VLCC Femina, Miss India, Mizoram 2020. And Rudrapriya Yadav, VLCC Femina, Miss India, Madhya Pradesh 2020. Congratulations, ladies. Well done to you all. And now it's time to move to round two. Thank you girls for putting your glamorous self forward today and now it's time to interact with the judges and see what they thought of this sub contest. Let's begin with you Vivek. What did you think about the transformations that you saw today? It's been an interesting uh, ride for all of us and uh, in, uh, and this year I think what I see uh, you know the talent coming out and the talent that all of us jointly shortlisted uh, is very good. And I think uh, all of them actually, apart from the uh, the last five, the 31 of them, have really put in the effort to create the look. Yeah, see, it is the interpretation of each one of them, how they would like to do it. And somebody does it a little more, somebody does it a little less. But I think as the name is defi name defines the look, you know, primarily. And which says that the gold, gold eyes with the creme lip stain, yeah? And the soft brown, smoky eyes with the creme lip stain. I think those are the two things that you you know we need to look at. The, how they have created their eye look and how their lips are matching with that. So I think that's the signature Sephora look that we talk about. So when we define the look, we'll talk about the look and that is what should come out. So I think what I saw in the last five, you know, it's a very close contest and I did my remarking of all the five of them came very close to each other and I think what you also see is that we have some of our iconic products which we had given out and I think some of them uh, really talked about it. I think Size Up Mascara is one of the biggest mascara uh, right now in the portfolio which is selling globally and it's, uh, it's doing a fantastic job as per its name. Uh, the other big one which is actually has been uh, you know uh, taking the uh, world by storm is the creme lip stain i mean that's a fantastic collection and uh, that's also one sold every seven seconds you know in the sephora world thank Excellent. you it, it does look like the girls did good justice to the sephora products and each one of them looked amazing using all of that so yes uh, definitely a big thumbs up to all of them the girls definitely did justice using sephora products today so Clint, how was the glam quotient for you this evening? Oh, it was very glamorous. Uh, the girls were really looking stunning. It was a very difficult job actually, uh, you know, uh, choosing the right girl and choosing uh, who my top uh, girl was as a makeup artist. You know, so it was literally like, you know, uh, there's a particular phrase, pulling hairs and needles. It's like, I mean, you know, it's like, you know, you're like picking on like really the finest of details because it was so tough and they had all done a very good job and kind of also shocking you know like some of these girls come from small towns they come from places where you don't expect them to really do great makeup but they're doing a super 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 job like one of the girls said 15 days ago she started learning eye makeup and look absolutely. at the transformation absolutely mind-blowing true i mean it's it's kind of shocking also i, I but in a way, it's good to actually see this kind of talent, that they have this talent inside them. And it just needs to be tapped. And thanks to Sephora giving them the right kind of products, uh, all of this was possible. All right. Uh, Natasha, what did you think? The overall experience for you of Sephora Miss Glamorous Looks Up contest today. The growth that I've seen uh, the contestants um, 
you know showcase here with the whole session that they did with Sephora they had a master class right so i i thought that these girls wouldn't be able to pick it up as as clint righty said that they come from different backgrounds i don't know if they really understand the techniques the eye shadow itself i am trying to master it since so long myself uh to blend the eye shadow correctly uh it takes time and they had i think 45 minutes to do this uh task so i'm very happy with the way they have turned up it's it's amazing to see of course sephora products help vivek i'm going to go get some <laughs> after this and uh, yeah i think it was a good it was really good it was fun judging this so pre what about you uh you you how was your uh, judging experience here I think I can safely say, Natasha, that um, I, I'm actually gobsmacked at the effort and the transformation, like you've said. Seeing them in their, uh, you know, the pre-interview days and the interview days to now, they're different girls completely. That transformation is absolutely amazing. Ladies, you all did a wonderful job recreating these looks. And now I want to know, how was the experience of Sephora, Miss Glamorous Looks Sub Contest for you all? So I was given gold dyes uh, from Sephora collection, uh, in which I had to create some smoky look uh, with glitter up in the inner corner of my eye. And this is the first time I have tried this look, and it was really amazing going on with this look because some of the hampers and the palette given by Sephora was amazing, and I would love to try such looks in future. And what do you have to say about the look that you were given? The products given by the Sephora collection were the perfect. products for creating this look i really like the mascara the volume size of mascara it really helped me to create a heavier and deeper look on my eyes because i didn't have eyelashes so i really love the product a big thank you to my fellow panelists for their insights and feedback and to all our 31 state winners for participating in the sephora miss glamorous look and being fabulous the results will be declared on january 21st 2021 till then let's keep our fingers crossed and wish our top 5 all the best and remember to stay glamorous